Compressor Expander is a dynamic range processor. Compressors attenuate sounds above the threshold while leaving the sounds below it uncompressed. Expander, on the other hand, will attenuate the sounds below the threshold and leave the sounds above it unexpanded. Both will attenuate sounds in a determined ratio, meaning that if a ratio is 2 to 1, part of the sound determined by the threshold would be attenuated to half of its volume. As the expander serves the same function as a gate with a difference of a variable ratio, let's look into the compressor. Threshold will determine the lowest input level to be compressed. This integrated gain reduction meter shows the attenuation amount compressor is applying in real time. Attack is a time value and will determine how fast the sound will compress by the set ratio after the signal surpasses the threshold. Release is also a time value that equates to the time it will take for the compressor signal to return to its unaffected level after it falls back below the threshold. Ratio sets the relation between the input and the compressed signal and determines how many times quieter the compressed level is than the input signal. Gain sets the post-effect gain value for the output signal. Link channels will, when enabled, make the compressor affect the sum of the left and right channels. When disabled, it will affect them independently. Expander mode button, when enabled, turns the compressor into an expander and look ahead values will make the compressor analyze the signal in advance compared to the input, allowing for usage of shorter attack and release times. Another great feature of this compressor is the external sidechain functionality. From the dialog provided, you can choose any output channel from your project to be the signal analyzed by the compressor. This external source will determine how much of the input signal will be compressed and when it will be compressed, like a dynamic trigger. Using this feature is very common in today's music production, especially in EDM. It is commonly used on a bass channel with the kick drums channel selected as the sidechain input, thus making the bass attenuate every time the kick drum plays, producing that well-known pumping effect. Using these three buttons here, you can also catch the sidechain signal after all of the effects on its channel, after the whole channel strip, or before anything on its channel has altered it. Let's listen to this compressor in action. <laughs> 